Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if I understand the person correctly, uh, they want to fit this word text to path, but also have it joined together like that. He sent me this exact file with this path, and that's pretty close to that, so we're going to use that. You don't have to do anything at first. You can't you can't weld it together ahead of time and then text it to path. You need to do all that afterwards, which is just as easy. So grab your text, it's still a text, and go to text, fit text to path. And if you want in the center, you want to wait for that red line to appear. There it is right there, and then you're good to go. Then take the shape tool, and with this one right here, just move this in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. So with the shape tool, you get this skew mark, and you can move that in. And if some of them are touching more than others, you can actually do them individually. Uh, we're going to squeeze them a little bit more. The W is barely touching, but everything's touching, so it's going to weld pretty good. Um, you know, especially because the W is going to be uh, probably on the, well, it's not. It's going to be free hanging, so you might want to weld that a little bit more. So you could take your your uh, shape tool and just move that W C on that path. So we're going to go a little bit more. That'll probably work. It'd be nice to have the E or the L move a little bit more toward the E. C would be good, but I would kind of move them all over just to kind of uh, get them better connected, like the M is just barely touching now. And see, I'm just moving it, it's moving along the path. And we'll do the E just a little bit more. And then I would always kind of double check, you know, that's pretty close, the E is actually a little bit more, but you could probably, uh, group it all and, and play with it later anyway. So now I'm going to, I've got it all selected. I'm going to go object. I'm going to break the it apart. Then I'm going to go to object and break it again. And then I'm going to select it all and I'm going to, the M's a little bit off, but it's fine. I'm going to convert it to a curve. And when you do that, you get the weld and just weld it. So that's what you've got. There's your welcome. And then just uh, select it all and go up to effects and, well, maybe I didn't select it all. Go up to object. Should say break, break apart, which is right there. Let's go control K. There we go. It was already done. So then you could put that welcome anywhere in your deal and you could actually make it smaller. And like I said, you could still rotate it. If you have that marker still in there, if you'll put your indexing lines, it should reach to the center and then bring the other one to the center. And then you can grab that and move your rotation to the center. And then you could rotate the whole thing left or right to get it more so in the center to your liking. That looks pretty good. And then he's got a framework and you want to weld that framework in. So we're just going to do it. Uh, also, he has a cloud in there or the smoke and the spout from the, the uh, but I just do a frame real quick and then he'll, he'll be able to understand. Now, don't worry about, you know, building the second one. Well, let's just do a second one. Uh, let's control D and make a duplicate and then Hold down the shift key and it'll grow. Of course, it never really grows perfectly. The best way to do that is to contour. But we could bring that in. But don't worry about the second one really right now because you want to, you basically want to weld the top one. So we're a little bit tall. Let's see what his nudge factor set on low. That's good. Let's nudge this down a little bit. We just want that C. Now you could weld this, but you get that. You could front minus back and you get that. You could back minus front and you get what you want. So sometimes you don't really know. So the really, what I do is the easiest thing to do is just take your virtual segment delete key and just delete through that line. That's what you want. And then if you will take your other box, tell you what, let's uh, 
put that in the center of the page, put this in the center of the page, and then take your smart fill tool and fill in that edge. And then that's your start. And then if you left click, right click, and if you're gonna cut that out, I'd always have it red. So you can do the same thing with the, with the everything you've got here, just use the virtual segment the delete key if it doesn't work. You know, this is, his, his text is pretty terrible. The smoke isn't that all that good. If you have X7 or above, I would strongly suggest using the smoothing tool. Let's set it on like one inch. Grab that and just smooth it out a little bit. Give it a more natural, you have to wait for the nodes to appear so you know you've got it. And it's gonna make your smoke look a lot better than the outside is all one piece. So you could just go all the way around and just kind of hit it all. Get, I'm not, and I'm not critiquing it, but to make it look more like smoke, you know, coming out of there be a, you know, not any jagged edges. Looks quite a bit better. Then grab that other one and just kind of wash across with a hand, you know, like you're doing a hand rag. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, I could critique forever. I mean, the, the lines aren't equal. They're not the same. Uh, if I was going to do it, I'd want them all the same. I would delete these, take that line, hit the plus key on the keyboard, move it down there, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular, or just grab both lines and hit L or, or R for right, so they're even, then go up to, I'm going way beyond what he wanted, but I like critiquing. And then let's blend it three times and hit apply. Now you have lines that are perfectly in line for the water tower, everything. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.